in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manually upload on the Strava application. So first form, of course, all we need to do, just go and download this Strava application if you don't have it already into your phone. Of course, if you have it, that will be great. But if you don't, you'll have to go and download it through Play Store if you're using an Android, App Store if you're using an iPhone, or any other store you could be possibly using. Once you do that, you'll have to go and download, uh, sorry, and open the application. Of course, they will actually ask you to log in into your account. If you have an account, just log in into it. But if you don't, you'll have to go and download it through Play Store if you're using an Android, App Store, what am I saying? Never mind. Of course, if you don't have an account, you'll have just to go and create it, and create your account by the three options that they will provide you with, which is going to be your Facebook and Google or even email option. Sorry for that. And of course, once you created your account or even logged into your account, you'll find yourself at this home option of the Strava application, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen. And of course, here you will be able to see your, your recent uh, like activities, posts, photos, if you have, and you'll be able to delete them, edit them. But some of them, uh, some of you will ac actually ask me, so how can you actually manually upload? Because that's why we get in this, into this tutorial. So of course, you can just go here and click at this plus button. Of course, it doesn't, doesn't, appear, doesn't appear to you. You can just scroll up a bit and it will appear to you. Click on it. And here you'll be able to upload posts, photos, and manual activities. So choose whatever you want. Let's choose an example manual activity. Just here, give it a title. Here, what uh, you can add a description. You can add whatever activity you did for when, and of course the time for how many hours, how many miles or kilometers. And of course you can add other details if you want. When you finish, click at save, refresh, and you will find it here. That's how you manually upload. Because like the automatic upload is you can just go here to record your run or whatever you're doing. And it will actually, when once you finish, it will be uploaded uh, like automatically here into your home screen. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.